What's going on, Packers fans? Aaron Negler here with your Packers Daily Chat, coming to you live on the Cheesehead TV social channels on a Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? I don't even know. Man, I'm blue. I'm down. This this life I lead where I, you know, have helped construct a brand in service of a organization that continuously shits on Cheesehead TV. Though, you know, here we are as an entity over a decade doing nothing but shining on the Green Bay Packers. They continuously figure out ways to just crap all over our efforts. Had to get it off my chest. Sorry to be cryptic. Can't talk much more about it, but man, Tuesday afternoon, just living life on a Tuesday in March of all times. You know, sometimes it gets to a man. But you know what? As I always say, everyone in that building at 1265, I was a fan before. Almost every single one of them came in, got whatever key fob they got or key back in the day. And I'll be a fan long after each and every one of them is gone. My grandpa taking me to Lambo when I was three. I've had Packers in my blood longer than most of the folks at 1265 Lombardi have even conceived of working for the Packers. So, fine. You know, you want to dump all over us? I don't even care, man. I don't care. We understand. We know what carrying the G means. It's very, very clear that there are some folks at 1265 Lombardi who have no clue what that entails. <sighs> all right. How y'all doing? Let's talk about Caleb Jones, shall we? Because look, man, Josh Nyman, that news breaking overnight that uh, the veteran tackle has signed with the Carolina Panthers. Now enter Caleb Jones. Hopefully. Here's the hope, right? Um, I know he didn't get much of an opportunity to showcase what he can do last summer due to um, a lengthy injury absence during training camp. Then, of course, the year starts and there's pretty much no opportunity. But I'm telling you, back in 2022, that rookie season where he uh, was clearly, you know, everyone noted how monstrous he is. The dude is a gigantic presence. No matter where you are on the practice field, you can see him. Uh, then, uh, you know, watching him not only in practice, but in those preseason games, it was very clear the Packers had something there, and you understand why the Packers have kept him around, right? Um, he seems to be on the Yash plan a little bit as far as being kept around, not getting a ton of real opportunities in the regular season, but clearly they like what they've seen and hope to develop him. And now with Yash out of the building, hopefully Caleb gets his turn because I don't doubt for a moment that offensive line will be addressed in the draft, I think. This is a very deep tackle class. There's a good chance that the Packers will select at least one offensive tackle, if not two. But that said, Caleb's presence allows them to not have to reach for it. If it doesn't make sense value-wise, they don't have to pull the trigger. And I do think if he's given an opportunity, he could be your next swing tackle, the next guy who is active on game days more often than not, and is able to step in if either one of your starters get hurt um, on either side, too. I think he can play both sides. So I really hope he's given the opportunity, even if there is you know, competition via the draft, which I, again, expect there will be. Um, I really hope he's afforded that opportunity because, like I said, as much as we, um, we didn't get a true sense last summer, simply because he missed so much time, I do think, given what he put on film preseason in 2022, the kid's legit. And I think if he's given that opportunity, he's going to continue to step forward, show development, and hopefully become a solution for the Packers in, in that regard. Hello to everybody in the comment section. Hope you're all doing well. So good to see everybody. We got a couple super chats right off the way. Most hated. How you doing, man? Much love, Aaron. We we appreciate the hell out of you. Well, I'm glad someone does most hated. I appreciate you, brother. Adam, what's going on, man? Random Packer, Gray Rugemer. That's an excellent poll. Gray Rugemer, who is, of course, still on staff with the Green Bay Packers. He has uh, Rob Davis's old gig. Dylan, what's going on, man? Any chance of re-signing Bach once he is healthy? 
infinitesimal, I, I would characterize it as a chance, but a very, 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 very small one. I would suspect, though, I, look, if he is out there, right, say in the summer, still unsigned and can pass a physical and the Packers, say, have a spate of injuries during training camp, right, at the tackle position, crazier things have happened. I mean, David's made it very clear he wants to continue to play. And I suspect he'll be signed once he's able to take a physical, etc. But, man, crazier shit has happened in the NFL. So that's why I say, like, it's, 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 it's a chance, a very small chance, but a chance. No doubt. Mike Witt, what's going on, man? Hey, Nags. We may disagree sometimes about our Packers, but we'll always respect the hell out of you and Corey, and we'll always be thankful for you all. Well, that's very nice of you to say, Mike. I... I appreciate that, man, and I appreciate everyone chiming in. It's, I just, you know, at some point, you just get to a point where you're continuously butting your head against the same shit after a decade. I just, yeah, it's frustrating. Jerry, what's going on, man? Not everyone who wears the G carries the G. Go, Pat, go. Thanks for all you do. Thank you, Jerry. I thank you guys for letting me kind of vent because God knows it's, been bubbling michael what's going on man random packer antonio chapman now there's a pull you guys have been really good on the random packers lately like there have been a number of really good pulls i'm impressed but what would i expect from a cheesehead tv audience of course uh, i'm glad we're talking about caleb jones i hope he can do can be a better version of yash well bill i don't know if he needs to be any kind of version of yash i think he just needs to be the best you know player he can possibly be i do think yash was pretty undervalued probably by fans but definitely by the packers themselves um yeah i think caleb like i said i think he's legit and i think he's got a chance to really continue to develop and become i don't know about ever being a long-term answer you know as a starter etc but i do think he's shown that he can play and i think the next step is getting him Obviously, a lot more reps in preseason, but then hopefully making uh, at least, you know, the initial 53, though, even if he's back on a practice squad, it wouldn't be crazy. And you just give him some game reps, give him an opportunity out there, much like you saw last year when they were rotating guys. I think he could really be an asset. I really do. Oh, we know. Now we got a bunch of random Packers. I love it. Todd, what's up, man? Random Packer, Damon Parker, a.k.a. Hot Feet. Damon Parker, another good pull. You guys are so good. Soder, what's up? Random Packer, O-line, Josh Walker. Oh, wow. Going deep cuts here. Deep cut from Soder. I like it a lot. Jetterhead, what's going on, man? The 25th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. The Green Bay Packers select Peyton Wilson, linebacker, North Carolina State. Also, Random Packer, Santana Dotson. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, look, see, until a couple years ago, I would have said no chance. Linebacker at 25. Are you crazy? But then they took Quay Walker at 22. So I can't say that. I mean, I suspect probably not, but I'm not going to sit here and say it's impossible. It'll never happen because God knows. Uh, Brian has shown that he's not uh, he's not above or beyond maybe breaking out of some of their prescribed restrictions from the past, you know, uh, we'll see. We shall see. Joe, what's up, man? Caleb Jones related to Ed Too Tall Jones? I don't believe so, but we'll find out. Jordan asks, is Newman a June 1st cut? Uh, unless I saw missed breaking news, I don't believe he's been cut. So uh, maybe your question is, are they waiting until June 1st? But they really wouldn't have to. Perhaps, though, they are keeping him around simply for uh, the reason of, look, we're going to have, you know, depth along the offensive line going into the draft. Depth, I know, what you're, the joke, insert joke here. But, you know, and then if we come out of the draft with what we expect, which will be a few more extra linemen, then maybe they'll make that cut. But, yeah, as far as I know, he's still on the squad, man. Random Packer to Sean Kaiser. <laughs> That's a good one. Mike, thanks again, man. Random Packer, Roel Preston, and Mossy Kate. <sighs> I mean, they are random Packers. Bubba and the old man Auburn sports talk. 
There you go. Random Packer, Dimitri Nance. Ooh, nice. We're going, we're going mega deep cuts now. Dimitri Nance. At least that's a, you know, somewhat recent guy. Um, what else we got here? Random Packer, Zach Brakowski. That's a good one. Newbin ran a four six. Um, do we have Newbin's RAS yet? I don't think I haven't seen it. Brandon, what's up? Random Packer, Frank Zombo. <laughs> Can't beat Zombo. Ed, how you doing, man? Would you like me to give Brian a call? Egos and intelligent people who do stupid shit can be frustrating. Thanks for all the outstanding sight. Thank you, Ed. And what's funny is not like Brian's gold, man. The, the football side at 1265 are totally cool. Outside of Russ Ball, who's never been a Cheesehead TV fan, but I get it. That's fine. I don't I don't have a problem with that. But yeah, no, everybody on football is cool with Cheesehead TV. Totally fine. It's everything else on that business side. Oh, you know, sales, marketing, etc. Those folks talk about not really understanding what it is we do. It's uh, a continual frustration. Nick, what's up, man? As an Indiana alumni, I'd like to see Caleb Jones get his opportunity. I hear you, man. And like I said, like that first summer, it was really easy to look at him and say, okay, I understand why he went undrafted. I get why he's, you know, probably not for the National Football League. I mean, I. He is such a monster of a man. He is so tall, and then he is so big. Um, but he moves really well. And there are things – you can go back and watch the preseason from 2022 where they have him pulling out in space, and he's, like, locking down defensive backs. Like, that's not easy. Like, you think, oh, you're just going to go and you're going to truck them or whatever. But, like, they can move, right? They can try and get around you. They can try and juke you, whatever. And he's just out in space just erasing dudes. Like, while running at that size, it's impressive. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm really hoping. I'm hoping he gets the opportunity. Uh, last son of Krypton, thanks for being a Carry the G Club member. I know my handle makes you laugh. Rochelle played meaningful snaps for the Rams. If given a shot, you may have a similar path like Rasul. You know, it's funny because I kept waiting for them to use him more last season. Um, but yeah, that opportunity never really materialized, right? I don't know. Mimsy, what's going on, man? Random Packer, Steve Bono, awful in Madden if Favre was hurt. <laughs> I remember that actually. Wait, wasn't Bono the backup the year that Favre had his own video game? He or he was on the cover of a video game. It was like it wasn't Madden, it wasn't Tecmo, but it was like some other random NFL quarterback or something like that. I think Bono. Bono was the backup then. I can't remember for sure. But yes, he was also awful in Madden. Very true. Craig, what's going on, man? If you could go to any game in Packer history, which would it be and why? Random Packer, Matt Flynn. <laughs> I love everyone throwing in random Packers. Um, which game in history? Oh, that's so good. I mean, obviously, any of the championship games would be amazing. I'd love, and I mean love, to be able to go to the Ice Bowl with my grandparents. Um, you know, the, I think I've told the story, but the last conversation I ever had with my grandmother was when we had lunch, when I was back on holiday break from North Carolina school of the arts. And she told me uh, basically about that whole day and it, until like, and I, we lost her a month later and she had never told me this story until that lunch. And it was incredible. I mean, just the, everything they did that day. Um, and the way that they dressed, like in their Sunday best, um, grandpa had a camel hair coat in his fedora, you know, um, grandma Vi had her silk blouse on under a winter coat, but wearing a silk blouse with her pearls, like her Sunday best to the ice bowl and the way they tailgated in their Sunday best before the ice bowl. Like, I just would love to be there. And then afterwards cocktails dinner and then a, a party at their house like come on i've that i mean the game is like amazing of course but everything surrounding it i'd love to be there for that that would be amazing mike witt what's going on man two more random packers mark clayton and rich moran moran was the real deal man clayton Never really reached the heights I had hoped for when they signed him. But yeah, Moran was 
was a beast. Oh, there we go. Dustin. I love it. Random Packer. Gordon Red Batty. That's an OG right there. David on Facebook. Hell yes. Quarterback Club. That was the name of the Favre game. Thank you. I knew there was one. Thank you. That Quarterback Club. That was it. Well, well remembered. My old ass couldn't remember what it was. Mimsy, what's up? Oh, NFL QB Club on Nintendo 64. Bono, Bono, Bono ran like a tortoise. <laughs> I love it. Nick, what's going on, man? Traded for Jacobs on Madden. A lot of broken tackles. Got to love it. Also, that number eight looks so good. Nick, yes, I also put Jacobs on my Madden squad. I actually played one game already that is on um, Twitch. You can go check out the Twitch channel. I have Jacobs on and I have uh, McKinney at safety. They took on the Eagles and won. We're victorious 14 to 13 because I did run a lot. and Just love pounding. But he was also very, very good in the past game, too, which I'm excited to see. Bubba and the old man, Auburn Sports Talk. What's up? <laughs> if we were all, if all were there, Dijon, uh, Fontenot, or Nubin at 25? Oh, I think it's Dijon. Sorry, I said that wrong the first time. I think it's Dijon. I, I've seen a lot of this, and I know, um, I think, who was it? Um, Zach was doing the uh, USA Today Wire draft and he was asking if all these guys are there like who would you take blah blah blah. so there's a lot of kind of seemingly similar thought processes in the air at the moment as far as there's going to be talent available like everyone thinks 25 like oh it's so far down etc but then you get down to 25 and there are going to be really good players available um and of those three and i think of most of them i think if dejean makes it there he's probably the pick but i'm not entirely sold that he's going to be there at 25 but we'll see. Anthony, thanks so much for being a Care of the G Club member. Random Packer, Seneca Wallace. That's a solid pull. Solid pull. Brendan Post, what's up, man? Best game I've been to, 2014 versus the Patriots. Oh, that's a good game. That's a good game. If for no other reason than the Mike Daniels, and I can't remember who else it was, sandwiching of Tom Brady uh, at the end of the game. on a key. I believe it was a key third down to really salt things away. That's good stuff right there. That whole game was amazing. That was one of Devontae's best games his rookie year, although he did have the drop that would have sealed the deal at the end. But, yeah, that's a great game. Absolutely. I mean, worth it alone for Jordy Nelson's big slant for a touchdown that went, like, 50 yards against Revis, right? I mean, that's an awesome play. That's an all-time awesome play. Aaron Harper, random Packer, John Anderson. Good pull. I like that. That's a good one. What else we got? Craig, I went to that game. Yeah. You never mentioned Bryce Pop. Well, Gary, now you have. That's a good random packer. Bryce Pop, man. I was talking with about him with Eric Eager, uh, I think last year at some point on uh, Twitter. And it is funny how he's mostly known for his work, you know, with the Bills. And, you know, he was a great pass rusher. But, man, he was a great pass rusher with the Packers, too. Just sucks that let him go. <laughs> itch what's up <laughs> nice handle saw an article on Bakhtiari trying to play this year could he still play for the Packers if so would the contract work um, I kind of addressed this earlier in the stream someone asked uh, if there was a chance he could come back I think it's a very 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 minimal chance he's got to be able to pass a physical obviously um, maybe if he's still sitting out there and the Packers have some injuries maybe they give him a call right as far as the contract it'd be a brand new contract it had nothing to do with this old one so it would probably be a one-year deal with incentives, most likely. Mike, thanks, man. Most fun game I was at was the We Want the Ball and We're Going to Score game. Al Harris forever. Awesome game, awesome moment, and also congrats to Al Harris on being named assistant head coach down there in Dallas. Mike McCarthy giving Al a uh, promotion. Got to love it. Callum, what's going on, man? Thanks for checking out the stream. Uh, what are my thoughts on A.J. Dillon coming back? I think it's a very smart, cheap signing, and there's no guarantee he even makes the roster. And it's not shade on A.J. It's just if they get to the draft and draft a couple really talented dudes and they get through training camp and they think, okay, you know what? These guys are younger, spryer, a little bit better. Maybe they uh, bid A.J. adieu. I don't think that will happen, but it's a possibility. It, it's a smart signing. You know, It's the guy that they know well, knows their offense really well, and his 
pretty damn productive. I know Packers fans are down on him because of the way 2023 began, but um, if you go and you actually look at it, the tape and what he did, he was really productive uh, with what was on offer, so to speak. Uh, Dan, what's going on, man? Random Packer, Travis Williams, amazing speed as a running back and kick returner. Travis Williams had a couple of big returns. I think one in Detroit in particular that I, I remember. I love it. And now everything is just random Packers in the comments. Random Packer, Chicago Bears. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, buddy. I'm going to have to get going. I can't thank you enough for hanging out, talking Packers each and every day, Monday through Friday. Thank you for letting me bellyache at the start of the uh, stream. It was pretty freshly coming from a meeting where – got a little chuffed so thanks for uh, putting up with me and if you are a carry the g club member here on youtube or a member of our cheese tv patreon don't forget happy hour starts at the top of the hour 6 p.m eastern 5 p.m lambo time come hang out talk some packers with your fellow packers fans from all over the world sadly david bakhtiari will not be joining us this week but lots of packers fans will so hopefully i'll see you there in the meantime please hit like hit subscribe tell your friends tell your family Cheesehead TV, we are devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great night. Go Pack Go.